Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday! Let's get started with our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. Let's fly to this side. Fly to that side. We'll fly back to the middle. And now we'll take our airplane wings into a big circle out in front of us like this. Stretch the circle up over your head. And let's stretch on this side. We'll stretch over to that side. One more time up at the top. And let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Circle Time. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. We have three things that we need to do before we get started. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears. The second thing that we need to do is find our thinking hats and put it on top of our head. Let's see. My thinking hat is right behind me. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready for circle time. Let me grab my pointing stick and I'm going to turn over to the calendar and weather chart that I have right here. First, let's go over the date. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July, that's right. And today is July 16th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 15th and today is July 16th and the year is 2021 or 2021. You can say the year one of two ways. Let's take out our counting fingers and give them a little stretch. Will you count how many days we've had so far in the month of July with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have had 16 days so far in the month of July. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. And for this song, we hold up seven fingers for each one of the seven days of the week. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. At the bottom of the chart, we have the days to go over together. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Let's see. Yesterday was th Thursday. So that means that today is th Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be th Saturday the first day of the weekend. But let's go back and sing Today is Friday together. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. And right back up at the top, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer, that's right. It's summertime where I live. And back down at the bottom, it means that it's time to sing the weather song together. And then we can share what we see outside of our windows. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? The rain is falling today where I live. When I look outside of my window, it's a cloudy day and the rain is falling. But it's just a little rain. A light rain is called a drizzle. My temperature chart is on orange because it's warm outside. Warm and a little bit rainy. What about you? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that sound together. Er, er. And this is an uppercase or capital R. R says er, er. Now it's time to guess what's inside of the letter box. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter R, R. I'll give you a, a few clues, and if you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first hint. This is a color. This is the color of a tomato. It's also the color of an apple. What color could it be? Let's see. Red. This is the color red. Red starts with the letter R. R. This is how you write an uppercase R. R. One more time. And here is the number of the week. What number have we been talking about this week, friends? Do you remember? Seven. That's right. Now let's hold up seven fingers together, just like we did for the Days of the Week song. We start with one hand, five fingers, and two more make seven. Seven fingers. Now let's count to the number seven together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number seven using the large bead frame. So we will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count seven units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven units. Inside of the box, there's more to count. I have some acorn tops, and as I count them, I will line them up across the top of the box so that we can count them together. Are you ready? One. These two are connected right up here at the stem, so that means that these are acorns two and three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven acorn tops. Today will also be the last day saying calm in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right. You take both of your hands and move them in a downward motion like this. Calm. This week we've been talking all about feelings and emotions, both the positive ones and the big ones. We've also been putting together a toolbox to use when we experience these feelings. Sometimes when we feel something inside of our body, our body responds on the outside, whether that's by crying or yelling or jumping up and down. Our toolkit will help our bodies learn to manage our feelings and emotions in a calmer way. Earlier this week, you met giraffe and penguin. And as you can see, it looks like penguin is working very hard right now at building this tower. 
Wait a minute. Oh no. How do you think Penguin is feeling now after the building got knocked over? Yeah, I would definitely be feeling mad and angry too. I have an idea. Let's go make something for our toolkit that we can use when we're feeling mad or angry. Today, we are going to be making our own stress balls using balloons and a filling of your choice. So I have some rice in one cup and I have some flour in another cup and I'm also going to be using a funnel. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take my balloon and stretch it a little bit. Pull on it to give it a little stretch. And let's start off with the rice. So I'm going to use my funnel and I'm going to put the funnel inside of the opening of the balloon like this. And I'm just going to begin to pour the rice into the funnel. And the rice is traveling through the funnel into the balloon. Give it a little shake. Sometimes you may have to tug on the bottom of the balloon in order to empty all the rice. Give it another little tug, get all that rice inside. A little bit more. Okay, so it looks like our first stress ball is ready to be tied up. So this part you can ask a grown-up to help you with. You're just going to have your grown-up tie the balloon so that the rice doesn't escape. There we go. So both of these stress balls that we will be making today will have different textures and they're very helpful to squeeze when you're feeling some of those big emotions, whether you're feeling frustrated or angry. I like to take out these stress balls and help me work through those big feelings and emotions. So we have the rice stress ball right here. This provides one type of sensory experience. And now let's fill up the second one with some flour. If you'd like to, you can just stick with one stress ball today, or you can try to make both of them and add them both to your toolkit. See which one you prefer. So again, I'm putting the, oh, I forgot to stretch it out. Let me stretch it out a little bit first. Then I will take the funnel and put it inside of the balloon. And I have my cup of flour right here and I'll just start to shake the flour into the balloon. Shake it in. Give it a little tap to make sure the flour goes through. Sometimes it may get stuck in the top. You just gotta shake, shake, shake. There we go. I find that if I add a little bit at a time, it doesn't get stuck. Now I can add some more. Sometimes with the flour, it can get clumpy and lumpy and then it doesn't want to go through the funnel. A little bit more, give it a gentle tap. All right, and the flower stress ball is also ready to get tied up. So this one provides a different sensory experience from the rice 
stress ball, but both of them are great to add to your mindful toolkit and use when you're feeling those big emotions. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Let's take a look at our toolbox and see all the tools that we made this week to help us with mindfulness. We have these bubbles to help with our breathing. We have a sensory bottle to help calm our bodies. We have scented Play-Doh mm, to help us feel relaxed. And we have these stress balls to squeeze when we're feeling mad or angry. And don't forget, you can always get up and move your body when you're feeling sad. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Don't forget to keep your mindful toolkit in a place nearby and you can use it whenever you feel those big or positive emotions. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we begin a new unit on dinosaurs. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.